Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about model of food passage. This will be the week 1 day 3 first quarter lesson and this topic is under the Matag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the different parts and function of digestive system. The second one is to create a model to show how food travels in the digestive system. And the third one is to appreciate the measures and how to take care of the digestive system by answering the activity called taking care of the digestive system. For the explicitation, ask the student to volunteer to read the story they created in the previous section. Gather feedback from the class about the presenter's work. And afterwards, the students will answer the guide questions. For the work example, let the students do the activity called Model of Food Pathway in the Digestive System. And for the objectives, they are going to describe the different parts and functions of the digestive system. The first step in making the model of food pathway in the digestive system is to begin by drawing the model of the digestive system on the cardboard or poster board. You can create a simple representation of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. The second step is using the plastic bags, create a model of the gastrointestinal tract and you may need to cut the plastic bags and form a tube if needed. Connect the bags together using tape to symbolize the alimentary canal. Ensure the bags are connected in the correct order to represent the pathway of the food through the digestive system. Is to prepare the fruits by peeling them and cutting them into the small bite sized pieces. These fruits will represent the food passing through the digestive system. The fourth step is to place the fruits into the mouth of the plastic bag model, then move them through each section of the gastrointestinal tract model. You can use your hands to push the fruits through the bags, mimicking the process of digestion. The fifth step is that as the fruits moves through the model, discuss the role of each organ in digestion and nutrient absorption. Use coloring materials to label each organ and highlights its function. The sixth step is place a basin or container at the end of the model to catch the food waste as it exists the large intestine. This represents the elimination of waste from the body. And finally, for the last step, pour vinegar or some weak acids or papaya extract into the model to simulate the digestive fluids in the gastrointestinal tract. This can help demonstrate how food is broken down and absorbed by the body. So now, let us answer the following guide questions. For the first question, how does your model show the food travel in the digestive system?
And for the last guide questions, why is it important to take care of our digestive system?